Imagine you're passing by your neighbor's house and he's lying down on the ground a bunch of windows. What would you think? We bet you'd think he was gone completely crazy. This is what Kirk Llewellyn's neighbors evidently felt about him. It only took a few days to discover exactly what he was doing and the results left everyone speechless. Gardening has been the favorite hobby for a lot of people around the globe for a long time. That's no surprise. Gardening lets you disconnect from the hectic everyday life, giving you at the same time a pinch of fresh air and the choice of growing something like flowers or vegetables. It's just the best. There are infinite ways of changing up your garden if you're not happy with it. You can put lights on it to make it cozier. You can grow different types of trees and flowers to give it a different color. Or you can even give your garden a new haircut, cutting your grass in a particular shape such as a circle or a rectangle. You're the boss. And if you want to take it to another level, you can even upcycle, which is the process where you take something old that you don't have much use for anymore and turn it into something entirely new with a new purpose in your garden. For example, you can use old tires as wall planters or spoons and forks as wind chimes. This is precisely what Kirk Llewellyn did back in 2013. The boat dealer had a lot of extra windows and doors that weren't being used by anyone and decided to repurpose them in his backyard in Tennessee. He came up with something that ultimately modified his garden and outdoor space. Being a designer was no problem for him to sketch out a 3D rendering of his incredible project. He used a computer program called Tremble SketchUp. According to him, a plan is essential when you're using reclaimed windows. You need a plan and a layout of the materials, and he didn't have a doubt that this is precisely the most challenging part of the construction process. We bet you can guess what Kirk was doing at this point, and you're right, he planned to build a greenhouse right in the back of his garden, all made from reclaimed windows. He measured the windows and came up with his final dimensions, 12 square feet with the same height at its tallest point. But that wasn't all. Now Kirk had to figure out the difficult math and angle at which the primary window wall would sit to get the most sunlight possible, taking into consideration both summer and winter. He used a secret tool, a fantastic guide that helps to complete this stage of the process. According to him, there is a fundamental rule in greenhouse building that says that the proper southern facing wall should always be 10 degrees greater than the latitude of your location. His latitude in Tennessee was 35 degrees. So the angle had to be 45 degrees. This step was the one that completed the planning. Kirk started finally to take action, building his greenhouse. The first part of the assembly was making the frame where the windows had to fit perfectly. He also decided to cover the small north-facing side of the roof with a translucent corrugated material with the aim of stopping any wind that wanted to creep inside the greenhouse. The north-facing section instead would be insulated with see-through plastic with the purpose of keeping the interior warm at all times. He also made sure that the windows were properly ready for the installation, along with the greenhouse's doors and trim pieces. This was an arduous process of precise measuring, mainly because the trim pieces had some intricate shapes. He decided to paint the already done window frames white so it could at some point match the rest of the greenhouse frame. Now he was ready to install the reclaimed windows. He had in his possession a stack of shorter rectangular windows and six taller windows that could be the east and west walls, which he found digging on Craigslist. Honestly, at this point, we weren't sure how Kirk would use the larger windows, but he decided to use the smaller windows in a row along the bottom of the sidewalls. The purpose of the taller windows was to sit over these, which would allow a lot of light into the building. He then proceeded to install the shorter rectangular windows that would end the process of comprising the tall southern facing wall. He screwed them into place and then sealed the hell out of them with some silicone caulk. And it wasn't an easy task. According to Kirk, he used around 15 tubes of the material. He used around 15 tubes of the material on his part of the project. He was almost ready and started giving his lovely greenhouse the finishing touches. He filled the corners and walls around the windows so that he could then paint the rest of the greenhouse frame white so it turned to match the window frames perfectly. The floor he ended up installing was flagstone. He also put in a soil area to mark the inner edge of the plants. The floor also had the purpose of keeping the heat in the interior of the greenhouse, which ultimately would allow the plants to flourish and grow quicker. At last the tables went in. Those tables would be the support of the plants or surfaces to place trays to grow even more things. He added an exterior porch so he could sit there in the fresh afternoons and enjoy the finished project. The project was done, 
what now well Kirk didn't waste any more time he started growing things right away he relied on the intricate greenhouse irrigation system which prevented the plants from drying out everyone went crazy with the finished project absolutely gorgeous love the addition of the Victorian framework one instructables user wrote and the avid upcycler even offered his advice in response writing habitat store and Craigslist are great places for this type of project it's always refreshing to see a process of someone taking something no one had any other use for and making it into something entirely new and useful this project is evidence of the idea that you can create anything if you put your head into it for some time